Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Episode 1 the Bible viewed as a conversation. In this initial lecture, we will delve into the Bible's essence and structure. As we are aware, the Christian Bible comprises two main parts. The first is the Old Testament, a compilation of texts shared by both Christians and Jews. This section encompasses various themes, including celebration of creation's splendor, accounts of conflicts and wars, regulations regarding worship, songs expressing joy and despair, advice on navigating the world, and condemnation of corruption. The second part, known as the New Testament, presents narrative about Jesus and his disciples, a collection of letters, and concludes with the book of Revelation or the Apocalypse. Throughout this course, our focus will be on understanding how readers holistically interpret these texts. An Overview of the Bible the term Bible originates from the uh, Greek word ta biblia, signifying books. It is a compilation of books authored and edited by different individuals over many centuries. A significant portion of the Old Testament was written between the 8th and the 2nd century BC, though some sources are even older. The initial part of the Jewish Bible, known as the Torah, translates to instruction in Hebrew. It includes uh, narratives about ancient Israel and the laws and customs that define its identity. Following the Torah, the prophetic text which convey the message and actions of Israel's prophet. Additionally, there are other writings such as narratives, poems, and wisdom literature. The New Testament writings were composed by Jesus' followers during the mid to late 1st century AD. Initially, these writings consisted of letters exchanged between individuals and congregations. Later, narratives about Jesus and his followers were documented. Over time, some of these narratives and letters were collected and combined with Old Testament to form sacred texts within Christian communities. Understanding the Bible as a collection that emerged within a community can be quite enlightening. A community requires something to bind its members together, creating a sense of shared identity. This bond may arise from shared belief, values, and practices that express those values. It is also fostered by stories that shape the community's identity and recount its formative experiences. On the other hand, a community comprises diverse perspective as it endures through time. It faced the challenges of affirming shared belief while accommodating different uh, viewpoints. These dynamics are also evident in the Bible, which can be seen as a community of texts. The writings in the Old Testament reflects a shared belief in the God of Israel, and the New Testament adds belief in Jesus to his, this foundation. Nevertheless, the text in both parts of the Bible encompass various perspectives on what these shared beliefs mean and how they should be put into practice. The Old Testament opens with stories about Israel composed from diverse ancient sources that have been combined and edited over time. These narratives form a coherent literary study with interconnected plot lines and complex character portrayals. The initial five books recount the migration of Israel's early ancestors from Mesopotamia to Canaan following God's guidance but encountering hardships and challenges along the way. Their journey continues to Egypt where they flourished for generations but eventually became enslaved. Moses becomes a central figure, leading uh, the people towards liberation in the Exodus, facing internal struggles and uncertainties. Throughout these narratives, the portrayal of God remains multifaceted with moments of clarity and compassion contrasting with times of silence and conflict. The encounter with the varied depictions deepens the reader's understanding of the divine. 
Subsequent books continued the narrative, detailing Israel's movement into Canaan, the establishment of a kingdom with Jerusalem as its capital, and the eventual division and conquest by foreign powers leading to exile. The text results with national tragedy and the struggle to make sense of it in light of God's will and human disobedience. In addition to narratives, the Old Testament includes prophetic writings with a common theme of advocating for a just society conveyed through poetic imagery. The final collection composes uh, psalms and wisdom writings which express emotion from despair to joy and explore the concept of living a good life. The New Testament also commences with narratives presenting a diverse array of perspectives. Each of the four Gospels provide a distinct portrayal of Jesus, contributing to a multifaceted understanding of his life and teachings. In Mark's Gospel, Jesus is depicted engaged in conflict, confronting the forces of evil through acts like exorcism. Luke's Gospel emphasizes Jesus' presence among ordinary people, starting with his birth in a humble setting. Matthew's account highlights Jesus' royal lineage and signifies for foreigners. Uh, John's uh, Gospel connects Jesus to the divine creative word that brought the world into being. The second major part of the New Testament consists of letters, particularly by the Apostle Paul, addressing debates within the early church about the Christian faith and its practical implications. The final book, Revelation, contains visions that initially seem to predict the end of the world. However, when understood in its historical context, it serves as an encouraging message for readers living in the Roman Empire, guiding them towards a hopeful future, symbolized by the vision of New Jerusalem. Throughout the New Testament, we encounter various literary forms and themes, including poetry, prophecy, and social critique. This diversity invites readers to explore the whole breadth of material and actively engage in the dialogue it creates. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner.